How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Shifting Lanes. Very excited to be here right now because I'm in a secret Toyota location to showcase three new special edition GR vehicles. Let's go take a look. We'll start out with the 2024 Toyota GR Supra, 45th anniversary edition. Then we'll move on to the 2024 GR86 Trueno edition. And finally, we'll wrap up with the 2024 Toyota GR Corolla Circuit Edition, which returns with this new color. So if you wanna jump ahead to any of these vehicles, check out the chapters along the video. With that out of the way, let's get started with this Toyota Supra. Starting off with the 2024 Toyota GR Supra 45th Anniversary Edition. This is basically an appearance package and it's gonna be limited to 900 units, all built on the 3.0 premium grade. So this is going to have the more powerful 382 horsepower and 368 pound-feet of torque. Inline six turbocharged engine. I have driven that car before. It's a blast to drive, it's potent, and it makes a delightful sound. So if you wanna see that review, check out the link up in the corner. Now, there's gonna be 450 units in the absolute zero finish. That's the white paint, and also 450 units in the new Mekon Blast finish. Now, that's the orange paint. Mekon means orange in Japan. Now, when you think of an orange Supra, you're probably thinking of the same exact thing. Yes, this is a tribute to the Fast and Furious Mark IV Supra, driven by Brian O'Connor. That car had a 2JZ engine with 10 grand worth of parts overnighted from Japan. But this one, this one has that B58 inline six turbo, and it is super fast. Now, the big feature besides the paint is the manually adjustable rear wing. This is three inches tall above the rear trunk, and there's also an adjustment screw so that you can modify the level of downforce on the rear axle. For this special edition, you'll get the 19-inch wheels. This is the same wheel design that you find with the 3.0 Premium Supra, but this one obviously has the matte black finish. And this also looks like the other GR vehicle wheels, but you could really tell the difference because of the special spokes, every other one, this is unique to the Supra. The rear calipers on this one will be finished in gloss black. For the front axle, you're gonna get the gloss black calipers with the GR logo on it, and that's going to grip the 13.7 inch steel rotors. And in between, the special distinction here is the black Supra stripe along the side. That black line just continues on down the side and it mates up with the fender lines, and I just like how clean that looks. And if you look under the hood, the strut tower braces have the Mekon blast color and with the GR logo in the center, just a very nice touch. If you get the absolute zero white paint, these will be color matched. When you step inside, this is basically the same 3.0 Supra and of course you can get it in the manual transmission as well, but there's really nothing very different with the 45th anniversary edition on the inside, except for this one thing. When you open the door, there is a special plate that says this is limited to 900 units produced. So that is the 2024 Toyota GR Supra 45th anniversary edition. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And now let's move on to the 2024 Toyota GR86 Trueno edition. Now, before going in depth with this new 86, let me just share a personal note. I did own a first generation Subaru BRZ. It's the same platform as the GT86 or the Scion FRS. It was an awesome car and I was able to learn a lot about just car control and did a lot of autocross and it was an awesome car. And when it comes to the second generation GR86, it was one of my favorite cars that I've reviewed in 2022. It makes for an awesome daily driver compared to the first gen, and the 2.4 liter power plant makes for a much more usable and capable car. The steering and handling of the 86 is out of this world, and it has no business being so good at a relatively low price point. And also the interior is a big upgrade over the first gen and that two plus two configuration makes this a better choice than the Mazda Miata. With that said, this Trueno edition is another appearance package just like that Supra, but this one pays homage to the AE86 or the Toyota Sprinter Trueno. It's the car that Takumi Fujiwara from Initial D would drive to make tofu delivery runs He's the king of the downhill at Mount Akina, and he was driving the Panda Trueno GT Apex liftback in all of those races. With this one, 
This is the modern day version of that. So if Takumi Fujiwara had a kid, he would be driving this thing. Now you might be wondering what the word trueno means and it means thunder in Spanish. Why did they choose that for the car? I'm not really sure. If you know, put it down in the comments. But there's only going to be 860 units available for the US market. And 860, that number is an homage to the AE86 as that was the chassis code. And also 86 is a very special number as it was the bore and stroke of the first gen GT86 BRZ FRS. The two liter FA20 engines had a square 86 bore and 86 millimeter stroke. These new 2.4 liter engines are 86 millimeters in stroke, but they have bigger pistons at 94 millimeters. For the paint, it's going to come in two finishes, the halo and track bread. The halo is the color that you see in front of you right now, and this is personally the color I would choose because it's got that panda black and white configuration. All of these Torino Special Editions will come with the two-tone black hood and also the side panel graphics, just like the old AE86. It comes with unique 18-inch 10-spoke aluminum wheels that are specific to this model. And it also has black door handles and mirror caps, very true to the original AE86 Panda color scheme. Of course, you're gonna find a lot of Trueno Edition badges, one in the front, a stealthy one on the side, and another one on the trunk lid. Those are the Trueno Edition badges for the outside. These special editions will have the upgraded performance package, which includes the sax dampers and also the Brembo brakes and calipers. Now these packages can be retrofitted onto any 2022 and 2023 GR86. And then moving inside, you'll find the same commemorative plaque that you found on the Toyota Supra. This is limited to 860 units. And over here, we've got the ultra suede sports seats and that's complemented with this really awesome red leather. And when you jump inside, you find one more Trueno badge. This is sitting atop of the six speed manual transmission. And also you'll find the special red contrast stitching. So that's the 2024 Toyota GR86 Trueno Edition. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm a huge fan of this car and I think I might just get one. What do you think? Now, finally, let's move on to the 2024 Toyota GR Corolla. It wasn't too long ago that we covered the unveiling of this car. This is such a weird car because it makes 300 horsepower from a three cylinder 1.6 liter turbocharged engine. And it also has an all wheel drive system where the rear axle is geared slightly faster than the front with a slippy clutch in between. So you can vary the torque distribution between the front and the rear, making it so that you're able to tune the driving dynamics of this car. It is weird and I absolutely love it. If you're interested, check out my review of the core model. It was such a fun and ridiculous car to drive. Now for 2024, the circuit edition returns with a new color, blue flame. The other one is called ice cap. And these are the only two colors available for the circuit edition. So the heavy metal and the supersonic red that was available for the 2023 model year is no longer there. You'll also get the black BBS forged 18 inch wheels that was found in the Morizzo edition. This is now standard on the circuit edition. You're gonna want these forged wheels because it's lighter and stronger. So that means that you're gonna be able to accelerate and also brake much faster than non-forged wheels. Up top, the forged carbon fiber roof returns and this also has the large hatch rear spoiler. This GR Corolla circuit still has the bigger hood. It still has the GR4 stamping on the intercooler. You still have the black accents on the car just like this gloss black mesh grille. There's functional brake ducts. More back here, and there's this new black decal right in front of the GR4 stamping. Inside you have the suede seats with the leather and also the blue contrast stitching. And inside you get this unique blue stripe GR shift knob with the forged carbon insert. Of course, this is only available in a six speed manual transmission. There's no automatic for the GR Corolla. Those are some of the major additions to the GR Corolla, but they've also made very slight tweaks here and there. For example, there are aero changes where there's added aluminum sheets to the front and the rear bumpers. And there's also a slight change in the duct shape for the front bumper airflow outlet. There's also some changes to the mounting bolts to the steering gear, the rear suspension, and also the battery ground if you really wanna be thorough about it. 
So that's what you can expect out of the 2024 Toyota GR Corolla Circuit Edition. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. So there you go, guys. That's the 45th anniversary GR Supra, the Trueno Edition GR86, and the new Toyota GR Corolla Circuit Edition with the special color. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Which one would you take home with you? I personally would take that Trueno Edition home with me because I think that looks really good and it's gonna let me live my boyhood anime initial D dreams out in the local streets. Let me know what you think. If you've learned something from this video, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and that notification bell so that you can be notified the next time I make a new video. Let's wrap it up right there. My name's Hanson and these are the new Toyota GR vehicles for 2024 and I'll see you in the next one.